Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv with the monsoon, Lorenz Larkin, out here at Bama USA. Some pretty good fights tonight. Were you impressed by the action? Yeah, it was. It was. This is my first time out here. Um, they don't have card craps or card roulette, but I mean, it was a good show though. It was. It was really good. I had a lot of fun. You a gambler? Not card craps, but card roulette. Yeah, I like that. Interesting. Well, you obviously had a fight at UFC on Fox. Didn't go your way on the decision. Twitter was going crazy, saying everyone thought that you won. What were your initial thoughts after that? Um, it was. Uh, I, I was kind of thinking about it, you know, um, I didn't really take it too personal the, the day of, you know, until I got home and got to watch the fights. So once I got to watch the fights, then I, I kind of started getting, you know, like, you know, that, that's some BS, you know, but I, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm just going to wait for the next fight and, and see what's going on. I guess when those type of things happen a lot of the times, you want to do what you can control. You couldn't control the judges. So what are you working on to sort of make sure that that doesn't happen again? Uh, don't fight anybody from TriStar. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, um, you know, just maybe just press the action more and um, don't play the offensive role so much. I mean, not offensive, but defensive role so much. And, um, you know, um, I don't know. I just got to, you know, fight a kind of a little different. You know, it's not it's not boxing. You know, it's it's MMA and, you know, judges don't always score it. I'm sure it caught you a little bit off guard that he was really looking to grapple in there, known as a striker more or less, though. I, I knew, I knew he was gonna. I knew he that was the you know that was the game plan. You know that it was gonna be take it to the floor. You know what I mean? Um, and and that's what he did. You know, I, I guess you get a lot of points for you know attempts or advantages. I don't know. I don't know. So it's jujitsu advantages points for uh, attempt to take downs. But what I mean, whatever. Cage control, I suppose. Yeah, cage control. So. You know, just be more aggressive and, and, and just give the fans a, a better fight next time. I know you're going to be out for the Fan Expo, signing some autographs so the fans can catch you there. But when do you expect to compete next in the UFC? Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully soon, man. Uh, I'm, I'm still training hard. I'm on two a days, you know. So I haven't really stopped. I haven't stopped training, you know what I mean? So I'm ready to get back in there and, uh, and get that W. A dynamic striker like yourself. What do you think about Vitor's last two performances? I know we talked a little bit about the Biz being one, but recently also got a big knockout with that spinning heel kick. What can you say? It was spinning heel kick. I mean, not everybody gets caught with a spinning heel kick. Not everybody gets caught with a spinning heel kick, but, I mean, what can you do? I saw Chris Cooley throw the spinning heel kick to the leg kind of uh, like you, and I said, who, you know, who coined that first, and he, he said it wasn't you, he said it was William, so talk about that. Uh, okay, I'll man up for that one. Um, Will Serapai, and, and, and this is for the record too, I was getting Serapai first two rounds. The end of the third round, Serapai caught me with the spinning heel kick and dropped me in practice to, to the leg. Then Cully, I was whooping Cully for all three rounds, and the last minute, he threw the spinning heel kick to my legs and, and dropped me with it. So, yeah, they, they both got it underneath their belt that they dropped me. But Drops you in pain or drops you in balance? No, in pain. I'll admit it, it was, it was sparring, though. It would never happen in a fight. But, you know, it was sparring and... You know, I, I love both of those guys, so, you know, I'll give them the respect. We've seen some recent videos of you hitting those thigh punches and being mean with them, too. So now we're going to have a round. Well, he wants it to be three. I don't know if I'm going to last that long, where he can only punch me in my legs, and I can do anything. So I'm excited to see how this is going to go down. Well, not too excited. Just watch. You wait. The video will be up soon. Well, yeah, when, when are you going to come down? Soon, I hope. I, I just have to get these rules down. How much time I get to recover? Do I get a count? You know, we got to figure out some of that stuff. But we'll see what happens. It'll be good. I'm what, waiting. What else do you have to say, sir? Uh, nothing, man. Uh, just that the fights uh, up here at Commerce Casino for Bama was nice, man. I had a good time, and uh, it was feels fun, man. I'm I'm waiting for the next one. Definitely a great night of fights here at Bama USA. This man, the Monsoon, look for his return to the Octagon very soon. I'm Spencer Lazara. You're watching MMA Interviews TV. Hey, this is Ariane Celeste. This is Uriah Faber. This is Glover Teixeira. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA Interviews. And MMA Interviews. You're watching MMA Interviews.tv.